Yesterday, Hypixel Skyblock rolled out the 0.11.1 update. This update brought a ton of new items to the bit shop as well as a ton of quality of life features. Today, we're going to be focusing on one of the most overpowered items I've probably seen added in this game in a very long time. Ever since pets were added into the game, you've been able to equip a pet and it gives you a stat boost or different skill boosts or basically just any type of boost that might help you in a certain way. Ever since this update was rolled out, players have tried to figure out ways to equip two pets at the same time. There have been bugs in the past where you have been able to do so, and most of those players have been banned to this date. But Hypixel Skyblock actually added something in the bit shop that nearly allows you to have two pets equipped at the exact same time. Let me explain. Before today's video gets fully underway, we are currently on the road to 80,000 subscribers now since we just recently hit 70k. So if you want to be a part of that, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notifications. And if you want to hang out with me on a daily basis, I've been daily streaming over on Twitch recently, so I'm going to leave that link in the description as well. Currently, I'm in the community center, as you can see, and right now we are looking at Elizabeth, the community shop. So if we go into the bits shop, as you can see here, there are a ton of new items. We got the block zapper, the rune sack, which is very helpful. Auto Pet Rules 2 Pack, we have the Kismet Feather, um, another stacking enchant, uh, Cultivating, really good for farming, and we also have a few new enrichments, Ferocity, um, Sea Creature Chance, and Attack Speed. Um, actually, I feel like Sea Creature Chance was there the whole time. Either way, we have we have new, new enrichments, so that's pretty exciting too. But today, we're going to be focusing on the Auto Pet Rules 2 Pack. This is the most expensive item in the bit shop to date right now. Before that, I believe it was the Bits Talisman at 15,000 bits. Um, there's also the Dungeon Sack, which is 10,000. Overall, just a few expensive things. But this Auto Pet Rules 2 Pack is 21,000 bits. Earlier today, I saw it going for over 5 million coins on the auction house. If we actually go ahead and check really quickly. I'm curious how much these are going for. Lowest price, 6 million coins now, which is quite insane. And there's a reason for it. I've already gone ahead and purchased two of these, but I'm going to want more in the future. So for today's video's sake, I am going to buy another one. Um, it is 21,000 bits, quite the purchase. And if I click confirm, there we go. It has a really cool texture on it, the Auto Pet Rules book. It almost reminds me of that book from, oh my God, it's actually the book from Harry Potter. Are you kidding me? It's got like eyes on the top. Is that eyes? If that's eyes on the top, that's like, I'm going to put a picture on screen. It's literally like this monster book from Harry Potter. And I think that's kind of the vibe with this, uh, this skin they have for it. If we go ahead and right click it, we actually unlock, you added plus two rules to your auto pet. So if we go into the pets menu, there's a new feature called the auto pet, as you can see right here. If we click on that, we can click to set up some rules. I now have six spaces, which is amazing. So let's go ahead and make our first set of rules. There are tons of options from um, when you log on the sky block, you gain skill XP, you enter an island, you enter combat, you increase any type of collection. Seriously, they have like nearly every collection in here, which is quite insane. There is also when you kill a certain type of mob, you select a certain dungeon class, which is quite good as well. We also have any event um, when you equip a certain um, armor set from your wardrobe, which is really cool as well. Uh, kill a certain boss, you start a slayer quest, you go AFK, you dig a griffin burrow, uh, you open a winter gift, and when you open the experimentation table. So you might now be wondering, how does this make it so that you can have two pets equipped? It basically just sets up rules so that you can have one pet equipped, but there's actually a few different scenarios where you can nearly have two pets equipped at the same time. You might also be wondering, why would I ever want to have two pets equipped? Um, some people might think to do more damage, but that's not the type of situations that they have it set up for. It's actually for skill grinding. Skill grinding nowadays with the auto pet feature, you can get perks from two different pets nearly at the exact same time. Let me explain. If we go into our pets menu here, I'm going to be farming some pumpkins. So we're going to create a rule so that when I collect pumpkin, if we go in here, find pumpkins, if I collect pumpkins, I want my, I believe it is rabbit pet to equip. So if we go ahead and put my rabbit pet, now when I increase my pumpkin collection, my rabbit pet will equip, which is pretty great. Right now I have no pets on. If I break a pumpkin, boom, rabbit pet, ready to go, as you can see. If I want to have it so that when I gain farming XP, um, let's go into here and create a new rule for you gain skill XP. We're going to go for farming. If I gain farming XP, I want my elephant pet to be equipped. So let's go ahead and do that as well. So now when I break a pumpkin, it kind of has a little seizure between the two of them. Both of my pets, as you can see in my chat, it'll start saying both my pets are being equipped. And so what this is actually doing is I'm going to be getting the skill XP um, once my rabbit is equipped. It's, it's weird how it has to be worded out, but basically it does it backwards. So when I increase my pumpkin collection, my rabbit comes out so that when I get my farming XP, I get it with the rabbit boost. And then it's ready for the next pumpkin by equipping the elephant. 
So if that makes any sense. So when I'm farming here, the reason why you want your rabbit and your elephant pet out. So the elephant pet, when breaking a block, um, increases uh, your farming fortune by 180 when it's level 100. Basically meaning you get way more crops. And when you mine a block or when you're farming, if you have your rabbit equipped, uh, where's my rabbit? When you have your rabbit equipped, you actually boost your farming EXP by 30%, which is great if you're trying to grind for uh, farming XP. So by allowing it to have both these perks out, not only will I be getting more, dro more drops, but I will also be getting a ton more farming XP. And so by having these both on, I can abuse both the perks at the exact same time. It has a little bit of a seizure in your chat, but I believe there's some chat trigger mods so that you can kind of get rid of those messages in your chat. Otherwise, it's going to look something like this. As you can see, just a complete spam right up your chat. So I have a chat triggers that I can put in there. If you guys want me to link that in my Discord, let me know in the Discord and I will happily give you guys the download link for it. But as you can see, it just, it's insane. I, I get way more farming XP and my drops are way increased too. And it doesn't only work on farming. There's a few other ways that this can work and it also works with forging. So for example, let's say I wanted to come in here and chop some dark oak wood for my, far, for my forging XP level. Not something I do often, but I might start doing it a little bit more often with the way I can do this. So if we go ahead and make a new rule, we're going to make it so that when I collect dark oak wood, it's going to go ahead and equip my ocelot pet. So my ocelot pet will give me 30% more forging XP when breaking blocks. And if we go ahead and set it up so that when I gain forging XP, I actually equip my monkey. So it basically just switches back and forth, kind of what you guys saw for farming there. If I can find my monkey pet, there he is. So as you can see, I have it set up just like so. On the collection is going to be the one that gives you the XP. And on the one where you're gaining the XP, it's going to be the one that kind of gives you more drops. So as you can see, just like that. Ocelot monkey. So now when I go ahead and break a tree, as you can see, for every block, it switches back and forth instantly between my two pets. Okay. And so I'm getting a ton of forging XP, a ton more, like nearly double as much as I would be if I was just farming with my um, monkey. And I'm, but I'm also getting all the same drops I would be getting with my monkey as well. So I believe uh, Strafe made a video basically saying you can get nearly 800,000 forging XP an hour now, which is uh, over double what I was able to get before. I remember per hour, I used to be able to get like 396K. So I'm really excited to test this out. Probably gonna stream me testing it out um, in the next couple of days on my Twitch. Basically just testing it out to see how accurate those numbers are. I haven't gotten a chance to do a full on test, but I will be making sure that I do that very soon. But I mean, it's, it's right. The proof is right there in front of you. I just also find it hilarious how my pet just has an absolute seizure while I'm chopping down a tree. As you can see, he just jitters all over the place, swapping between my monkey and my ocelot pet. But as you can see, I'm getting way more uh, forging XP than I was before, which is insane because I usually forge with my monkey pet so I get more drops, but now I can get the best of both worlds. I'm sure all of you guys remember the Dwarven Mines update, but there's also an application for the auto pet feature here, similar to the way that we just used it for forging and for farming. So let's go ahead and make two brand new rules. If we go into our pets, auto pet, we're going to make a new rule so that when we collect mithril, it's going to go ahead and equip our silverfish pet. So if we go into collection, um, where's mithril? Uh, this is mithril. Okay, perfect. It's going to equip our silverfish pet. If I can track this guy down, there he is. Perfect. And now we're going to make it so that when we gain mining XP, it's going to go ahead and equip our mithril golem pet. So we can get the most XP we can with the silverfish while also getting the same stats from the mithril golem while we're mining, which is pretty crazy. So let's go ahead and mine and you guys will kind of see what's going on right now. I have no pet out. As you can see, he changes a bunch of times in my chat. That's because I had efficient miner proc. Um, I don't think it works with titanium, but you can set up other rules to work with titanium as well. But as you can see, it procs kind of in a similar way. So let me run over to the cliffside veins and we'll proc our pickaxe ability and kind of see how many times we can get this thing to proc back and forth in a second here. So let's go ahead and drop down. This is one of my favorite spots to my mithril when I have a mine 500 quest. So let's go ahead and start over here. Right click our pickaxe and you guys will see it just absolutely spam in our chat as our efficient miner starts procking and we break more blocks. When I'm not lagging, that is. For some reason, I always lag when I come in here, but I mean, I think we're doing fine. But as you can see, it's swapping back and forth between the Mithril Golem and the Silverfish pet. So I'm getting the most XP that I possibly can while also getting the same amazing stats from the Mithril Golem pet. Some of those stats being gain mining speed when mining Mithril, gain an extra percent more Mithril powder, and increases your combat stats by 20% on mining islands, which isn't the big one, but more Mithril powder as well as mining speed is quite huge. And then you're also getting all that proper XP that you should be getting from mithril by having the silverfish pet equipped honestly 
This auto pet update, I don't know if this was intended, but it's pretty overpowered. In conclusion, what I'm trying to say is the auto pet feature is quite insane. There are so many, so many different possibilities about different rules you can set up. I'm going to be doing a lot more testing over the next couple of days, basically trying to understand every single rule and every scenario. And if I find out anything as crazy as this one, then I will make sure that I let you guys know in another video. Either way, I believe that's going to be it for me today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this one. Hopefully you learned something. I hope you use this to your advantage. And without further ado, I'm going to see you guys in the next one. All right, take care and peace out.